Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop of Jack Torrance from The Shining. And one little thing I dig about the packaging is that there is blood splatter on the side, and it says Red Rom right on the uh, front there. That's a nice touch. For as long as I've been an active collector, and that's about 20 years, I've been wanting a Jack Torrance figure of some kind. Going back to the late 90s with the launch of Movie Maniacs by McFarlane Toys, I thought, you know, Jack could be a movie maniac, right? And this is going through NECA with the cult classics figures. I've been wanting this every time someone's done like a horror line of stuff. And nothing crazy, just, you know, him in his final outfit from the movie, carrying an axe, chasing after his family. So I'm glad that Funko was finally able to make this happen for me. And well, for everybody. And they did a great job with this. Uh, his actual body looks great. They got the uh, little texture of his little light jacket really well. I mean, considering how little this is, like, you know, three inches and three quarters. Uh, the lines going down it look good. Uh, the pattern on his shirt looks good. The little white buttons look great. Uh, his pants are well sculpted. The shoes look good. There's even like a little kind of sculpt to some little rough tread along the edges, so that's nice. Paint on the shoes and shoelaces is good. I love that he's holding the axe. Uh, there's some good little blood right there on the edge there. Silver paint looks good. His pose holding it looks great. And then you get to the head, and look, they got the Nicholson eyebrows. That's probably the most important part. Uh, the sculpt of the hair is good. I like the paint on the, uh, the, the dark kind of circles around his eyes. You got the lines underneath. So we definitely got crazy eyes going with crazy eyebrows, and the blood looks good. But I really like the sculpt of the hair. They did a good job capturing what his hairstyle looked like in the movie. Now, uh, if you care about paint jobs and stuff like that, if you're kind of a weirdo like me, uh, be on the lookout for the hairline on this. Uh, this one turned out pretty good. Um, all the ones I saw, the, the sideburn here tends to be kind of a mess, but a lot of the front hair sections are kind of a mess. Uh, this one, you could see there that the red of his jacket bleeds onto his shirt just a little bit, but I had to go with this one because it had the best hairline in the front. Really strong, but a lot of them are kind of droopy, a little drippy, a little smeared. If you care about that sort of thing, be on the lookout. Look, I love this pop. This is a pop I've been waiting for as long as pops have existed because The Shining is my number three favorite horror movie of all time. The only way this could get better is if there was like a frozen chase. There is a frozen chase. Be on the lookout for this on my channel very, very, very soon. I love this. So thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.